Hey there, Magus Academy students. This is your headmaster, Professor Magus, and welcome back to Let's Play Wild Arms. Last time we made our through way through the uh, forest prison, got the life rune, and we're gonna go ahead and pick up a mega berry. So what we're gonna go ahead and do now is we're gonna be going inside the uh, inside the house where Vazim resides. So in here we have some treasure. So it's somewhere. Um, let's see. There we go, there's a duplicator. And then a hyper gear. Uh hyper gear is what is hyper gear? I think that's for Rudy. Yeah, the hyper gear is for Rudy. So let's go ahead and ooh, a magic carrot. So let's continue exploring the house here before we talk to Vazim who is. Who else? This guy right there. So, underground we have nothing. Okay. So let's go ahead and talk to Vazim right here, right now, and tell him what's going on. Vazim! Ariel, what are you doing here? Vazim, Rudy is in trouble. Calm down, Ariel. Breathe. Breathe. I can't believe I'm looking at a forbidden home cross. Rudy needs some living metal to heal his left arm. Please use the Guardian Blade one last time. No. Do you want me to crack the ground in half again? I can't take part in the creation of another weapon of destruction. The Guardian Blade is a blade of doom. I'm not talking about a weapon. I want you to pound some life with those hands. Only you can save Rudy. Only you can make the metal come to life. Fix Rudy with the technology that produced the Guardian Blade. You've become strong. Or should I say your love has become strong. Rudy shared his strength of heart with me. Rudy can change the future of mankind. Make the Guardian Blade save Rudy. It is possible to repair the arm. But we are missing two key ingredients for the operation though. To reclaim the left hand, we need the Life Force Guardian. The, to regulate its powers, we need the F Illusion Guardian. With both of these in place, we can finally apply the Guardian Blade to his left arm. Mariel and I will go prep him for the operation. You warriors go and gather the two powers of the Guardians. The Life Force Guardian is sealed somewhere in the forest prison. I don't know where the Illusion Guardian is. There is a magical book called Dele Metallica. Really? Game, what's with you in band names? First, Black Sabbath, and now Metallica. What's next, Iron Maiden? <laughs> it's a book about alchemy, and it, it is said the power of the illusion lives in it. To find one tiny book in this huge world, I... You must do this. You are our last hope. Okay. And I'm getting a bunch of buzzy tweet things. And let's go ahead and get out of here, because I think we know where to go. So we're going to go ahead and cast Teleport, because we can, to the Forest Mound. Because we need to head back to Vilgaia. And where are we going, you ask? Well, that answer is quite simple. Uh, you know, we can rest there when we get there. Okay. So, heading up here back into the little teleportation device. And then heading out of the forest mound, the one that we came through. We are going to go to Kieran Abbey. Okay. So before going into um, where we need to go, we should go ahead and rest up super quick. This shouldn't be that long of a dungeon, or... No, I guess you can't rest here. Son of a bitch. Okay. We can do without. So what we're going to go ahead and do is get the teardrop ready because... Uh, no, not that way. 
we want to head into the center of the Abbey over here, ouch, and then we are going to use the teardrop. Why? Well, we need to go into the Forbidden Library. And then we need to head into the very, very last room, so... Um, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and cast John Cena. <laughs> Just right when we, uh... Hit that part. <laughs> so, this shouldn't be taking too long. Hopefully. So, just... Yeah, do that. And then, we need to head upstairs. Ooh, there's a treasure that I missed. Uh, what is it? A magic carrot. Wow, I, I totally could have used that in the boss fight game. Thanks a lot. Me and my good exploration skills. I don't think I've... Yeah, I've, I've talked about the enemies here. I remember... Look at you thinking you're so powerful to defeat me. Oh, zero damage. How cute. Slice the book in half, Jack. Yeah! <laughs> now we can sell the main staff, or we can do the duplication cheat and then sell it for shit tons of money. <laughs> but over here... There's a book entitled Della Metallica. The pages turn by themselves until it reaches a section of the Forbidden Magic. As your consciousness wanes, you begin to hear a voice from afar. Bringing us here inside the book itself. Now, this area can be very, very puzzling, so even sometimes I can't figure it out. So luckily I have my notes out, so we are going to go ahead and walk through here. And run into a couple new enemies, the Pumpkin Head and the Talgium. Now the Pumpkin Heads I want to get rid of first. So let's go ahead and do that. Because um, they can flash you, therefore um, reducing your parry rate, which is no good at all. So can you not high freeze me? That would actually be nice. And they also have fireballs. Okay, you go down with no problem. And you decide to high break. Lovely. Just lovely. Ooh, nice critical hit. Good job, Cecilia. Very good job. So let's go ahead and finish off these books. I'm thinking about using Sonic Buster, because why not? Where are you? There you are. And I'm gonna go ahead and why not? Now I'm just gonna attack regularly. BAM! Okay, you die. And now you get to die. There we go. And they give a good amount of experience points. Now, one thing that you really, really, really need to know right here, right now, this is a one-time dungeon. So, whatever you want to get, get now, especially um, certain items. Now, this puzzle is a little bit tricky because the door has been closed for two hours. So what you want to do is you want to go to the left twice. There, because it is a representing a clock. So you see how it, how I turned around. How I went counterclockwise around the map, and then it says only an hour ago people were coming and going through the door. That's what you want to do. Another trick that you can do is you can use the um, pocket watch that Cecilia has there, and that could uh, that could turn back time. So that's a pretty cool thing. Now the books you want to pick up. So. This is the Song of Earth, it dwells the sun to become power, it dwells in the soul to defeat the enemy. 
Okay, and then down over here. Ooh, that loops around. And then over here. Okay, Jack got flashed in the last battle, so using the light trim will cure that. And then through this door, we have another book. This is a song of water. It dwells at the sword to become power. It dwells at the soul to defeat the enemy. Very cool. And then there's nothing up here. And then up over here, this is a song of fire. It dwells in the sword to become power. This is the same thing, same shit, different day. Okay, new enemy, the Necronomic. Now, here is why I said to get these spells when I said to get these spells. First off, I'm going to Sonic Buster the Talgiums. And then what I want to do, I want to use, where are you, High Prison on the Necronomic. Trust me, you're going to want to do this. Ooh, ouch. Don't kill off Cecilia, please don't kill her off, please don't kill her off, please don't kill her off, please don't kill her off. Kill her off. Okay, good thing that she has high magic resistance. Okay, don't kill her off, don't kill her off, don't kill her off, don't kill her off. Don't kill anybody off. Okay. Let's see. This is a risk that I'm willing to take, so I'm going to go ahead and use Heal Blade on Jack himself, and then Cecilia is going to cast Lucky Shot on the Necronomic. Aha! We got it. You're going to see what we get here in a minute. And I'm going to tell you, it's very, very rewarding. <laughs> okay, now all I need to do is kill off those Necron... Oh, okay, you know what? I'm just going to kill them off right now. So, to be safe, Accelerator and Sonic Buster. Goodbye! The Necronomiconics Mortis. The Book of the Dead is now ours. <laughs> now, this is Cecilia's best accessory in the game. I will explain why. See how her hit points restored everybody to full? Yeah. Now, I may demonstrate what, what she does on the field. But, you know what? Um... Yeah, I want to keep... No, I don't want... Yeah, fuck it. I'm going to keep going. Because this is a long dungeon. And you know what? I decided I am going to do this. So... Going upstairs. Now, if you want to grind to get a Necronomicon, you can... Um, but this area is the best place for it. So let's go ahead and read this. Knowledge is the treasure. You must engrave this. Seek. Blah, blah, blah. Alright. I'm going to show how powerful the Necronomicon is. So let's go ahead and... Hmm, let's see. How about a high flame? Let's just show off how powerful this thing is. Oh, fuck. Um, never mind then. I guess it's time for a Sonic Buster. <laughs> but yeah, you see that attack? It does, um... Oh, high shield for the frick of it. Why not?
and you die, and then I'm just gonna do a physical attack. I was pretty sure that those creatures would be weak to magic, but I guess not. But, um, Cecilia's magic resistance and her magic... I think a lot of her magic stats are boosted significantly. So I'm gonna go ahead and check that out here in a second after I kill these guys off. So, well, the pump, the only pumpkin head that's left. So, critical hit from Jack, very nice, and you die. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look and see how powerful this, this son of a gun is. Alright, so... Yeah, it increases her magic, or, I mean her sorcery, by 231, and her magic resistance by 115. That's just insane. It is amazeballs. That is all I have to say about it. So let's go ahead and re... And uh, go up here... The pages turn automatically into a sentence. Closed minds will leave Fogaya to its doom. The passage, blah, blah, blah. The Elus have gone to another world. Blah, blah, blah. For a thousand years, people have torn apart the land, looking for the future they've lost. Same sentence. A foolish woman opened the box and all the desires of the world were released. This, human, this is human nature, it's purest form. Now, this refers to the Greek story of Pandora's box. So, um, Pandora's box, you know, talks about, you know, humanity sinning and blah, blah, blah. You know, the curiosity kill the cat, um, kind of story. So, um, anyway. What do you search with these closed eyes? This is Vilgaia, a dying world. Hmm. What do we seek? Well, you know what? Let's go ahead and cast John Cena because we really don't have much to do over here. Well, there's nothing left much to do. Except to go down over here. And then going through these doors. And some people would be asking. Do I have to open all the treasures? Well. No, we have to open the third and the fourth, so... That should do it if I remember correctly. I know a lot of people would be like, why are you doing that? Okay, so let's go ahead and see if I actually did this right. It's true, knowledge is the real treasure. It can help people as well as confuse them. Yep, I was right, the third and the fourth. Now... Take this green book, the Song of the Wind, you know, the same thing, and then go through this door. And then the Song of Lightning, same phrases as the other books. And then... This is the Song of Nothingness, dwells within power, dwells in the soul to defeat the enemy. Song of the Sacred. And the Song of Illusion. So, I should adapt these characteristics into an attack. I'm gonna give it a try. There must be a bunch of different characteristics. And we get a fast draw hit for Jack. I still gotta do the other ones. And now, here we are. In another corridor. This is a long and boring corridor, if you ask me. But... Right here. I seek knowledge as a guardian of the secret ways. Uninvited one. Go to the left or the right, for we shall not meet. Okay. Now. You're going to see the gimmick of this puzzle here in a minute. The might of the demons is de determined by the strength of their machines. So why does the man follow the ways of the demons? Will the path to the left lead to the horns, 
Will the path to the right lead to man? Choose the path you believe in. Now you want to choose the right path. And then this one is... Visitors to the book of Della Metallica. What do you seek in this foreign world? The one who turns left here shall receive the power of death. The one who turns right here shall receive the power of life. Now, turn a right. Guardian Blade. Why is this that possesses unworthy power? To forge a future for the world, choose the left door. To take the future from the world, choose the right door. Now, if you choose the wrong door, you will be taken back to the beginning of the puzzle. You have to do it all over again. Luckily, the doors stay open so you know which ones you've done. People always seek justice while using power to enforce it. What is the meaning of justice? If you want justice as power, take the right door. If you want power as justice, take the left door. I think it's the left door. Yeah, hey! Or, nope. It's the right door. Okay. It would be the right door, so... Let's go ahead and, uh... Did I... Okay, no, no, wait, wait. I should read these just to make sure that I am not doing, um... I'm gonna show off this battle. Let's see if this would do something. Magnum Bang. Okay, you're dead, and let's see if High Flame will damage these books. Now take a look at the power of the Necronomicon. Look at that damage! Holy hell! <laughs> but we've been getting a bunch of magic cares. I mean, we now have 12 again? Okay. So, let's see, people always speak of justice, you want, okay. You want the right door. And lo and behold, we are in a windy path. <laughs> this book is boring. It's not playing Master of Puppets for us, it's not playing... Ooh, new enemies, mystics mystic spot or something like that now I'm gonna take these guys out as quickly as I can um, I don't remember what they're weak against but Sonic Buster should do the trick come on nope oh you're gonna run away thunk <laughs> Aww, why you run away Okay, I guess it's only good at running away, I, I um, suppose. But this one's brave. This one is ready for a rumble. Okay, never mind. Bye! Okay. And this must be where we need to be. This, this is the realm of the forbidden knowledge. knowledge. I am the, I am keeper, the keeper of all of the knowledge you have stored here. here. Humans, Humans, you have successfully, you have successfully overcome, overcome the labyrinth. labyrinth. You, have you have earned the right to possess the secret power of illusion. illusion. Just remember, Just remember the, power the power is a vehicle, a vehicle not a drive. Warrior, Warrior in the shaman shop takes take my power. Powers. Have faith, Have faith in what, in you, what do. you do. And with that, we get the Hades room. So now that we have the illusion, that we have the Hades room, we can go ahead and leave the Forbidden Library. And then head back into, um... Wait, where am I going? I need to teardrop. Duh, Richard. <laughs> 
go me! I am being sort of derpidious today. <laughs> and yes, I'm talking about Bidoof. <laughs> I've been watching Chuck and Conroy's Let's Play Pokemon Platinum, and honestly, I love it so far. It's probably one of my favorite LPs that he's done so far. Um, a lot of people say that Super Mario Sunshine was one of his best. Nah, I, I, I find Majora's Mask to be his best. So let's go ahead and exit the Kirin Abbey, and then um, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, head over to Rosetta Town, rest up and save, and call it an episode, because we are done here. So let's go ahead and leave and take care of that final objective, and then we'll be um, heading back to um, Vazim's place, and then we'll be... Uh, where is it? Teleport. And then we'll be on our way to... To restore Rudy back to what he was. Well, we'll restore his left arm and hopefully we'll be able to save him on time. So, let's go ahead and rest. Luckily, all the ends are 30 Gela except for one specific area. But I'm not going to talk about that. I'm probably going to talk about that a little, little bit later. But... This is running the end of the episode for today, so thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Let's Play Wild Arms. If you did enjoy today's video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and leave some comments in the comment section below, and be sure to follow me on all forms of social media. And if you guys are new to my channel and join my Hackers Academy, go ahead and join this, uh, hit this, uh, if I can talk today and not screw up my intro, hit that subscribe button. With that being said, this is your Headmaster Professor Magus signing off, and I hope you guys have a fantastic day.